Nice. Yeah, buddy. Top water action. Choked it. Yeah, that's a nice one. Look at that. Woohoo. Yeah, that's a beauty there. Where's the old phone at? All right, GoPro fam, put y'all in the photo with me. Awesome. Oh, I missed him. That was a nice one. Let's try that one again, guys. Try getting over towards this edge and see if I can bring it out. Here he goes. Nope. All right, gotta be some action down here. Go! Oh! oh, I got him. That, oh, he got off. God dang it. That was a freaking whale. Oh gosh, that sucked. And he choked it. Got to be more careful. I actually think that was a panic reaction on my behalf. God dang it, guys. That was all, had to be at least a four or five pounder there. He annihilated that thing. And now he's gone. Guys, did y'all see the way that that thing came out? Shark style. That was freaking awesome. I can't even be upset. The action itself was good enough for me. Sucks that I missed him. But it is what it is out here. See, it's a lot of action down here and I'm trying to see if I can get some of it but they're not really respecting the frog you know and I've tried different retrieval methods some pausing and some continuous going through the brush and I don't know, it's just not consistent today. So I think I'm gonna safely, with water moccasins in mind, I make my way along the edges over here and see what I can pull out. And so what I decided to do today, guys, is strictly frog. <clears throat> I tried my finesse worm a little earlier which I didn't really take any footage because of the rain and the fact that I didn't get any action at all on it. And I only fished about 10 minutes with it and then I just decided to go through a couple of frogs. And I originally started with the lunker head, one of the large ones. And every time I retrieved it, it would just sink under and they're brand new. And so I would end up casting out and then almost like setting the hook just to get it to come back up to the top and then start working it, but got tired of that. So I think this is a little Strike King, blue and white. Stretch the hooks out a little bit on it and pretty nice action with it. Oh, there it is, got him. Nice. Oh, you see him going out. <laughs> That was cool. I didn't even know it was gonna come up and at the last moment he sh shot from out in the brush and came at it. And I ended up missing him. 
that was some nice action there. I like seeing that when they come through the water, how you it's like the jaws action. And I know I'm too fresh, but I just like the action that you get from seeing them when they're coming along the edges and you know when the strike's about to hit. It gives you a rush. I just know it's gonna be a a monster out here somewhere. Outside of the one I freaking missed. I really wish I could have brought that one in for you guys because like I'm telling you, had to at least be a four or five pounder. All right guys, so y'all remind me to keep my eyes down so I don't freaking walk up on a snake. For I do know one thing, this little incline is not doing any good for my back. Chasing the hogs, it's part of the game. All right guys, so comment down below and let me know what your retrieval methods are with the frogs when you're using them so i use it as i said earlier i'll switch up slow retrieval fast retrieval and pausing in between and just trying to find out what's working for i guess the fish that are in the areas that i'm stopping at but is there something that y'all found works better than the other I'm not new at all Got him. Yeah. Oh, he spit it again and left me in the freaking gate. Look at this. Look at this. I hope y'all saw that, guys. That was disrespectful. Freaking disrespectful. And I told y'all that something was going to be at the top. Oh, got him. Nice. <laughs> freaking action, baby. Yeah, look at it. All right, monster. Oh, freak! Quick release, quick release, quick release. Sheesh. And now, one thing I can say, guys, is that. Hold on, let me show you. I spread these hooks out because I know I was, my hook set was horrible prior to me spreading the hooks out on this and lifting them up a little bit. And I'm trying to decide as to whether I need to raise them up a little bit more because usually they're set closer to the frog itself. And I saw that that really was killing my hook set. I'm just trying to get that hook set in a, a little bit better than I've been getting it in and allowing after the strike allowing the fish to just really have some time with it before I set the hook oh something right there but because this brush is so thick kind of makes me feel like if I don't go ahead and set the hook which might be a rookie move that I end up missing it anyway I did. Got him. Oh. That was freaking amateur. I have missed five bass. Making amateur moves right here. Guys, I'm disappointed with myself. I am truly freaking disappointed. And every freaking bass that I've missed has been a freaking hog. And I can see every one of them coming before they annihilate the frog. And on that last one there, I just freaking anticipated the hit and snatched too quick and probably pulled it right out of his mouth. And I'm not gonna even say probably, I did. But I know when I get back to the truck, I'm going to open these hooks out just a little bit more because I know that that is playing a big part of me not being able to set this hook. Oh gosh, guys.
What a freaking day. Now what I haven't gotten out here is just to blow up from the bottom. Everything that I've gotten today hit wise has been coming through the grass and attacking. I really any blow ups. And that's what I'm wanting. And I, you know, I guess it's because they're in the grass area, so it's not as deep as the area out here. Now, see where I just threw at? This is actually the edge of where we would usually walk at. So that water has really risen over the past week or so. I'm really up in the air as to whether to walk back down this way or walk over this way. Which way you think, guys? This way or that way? This way? I think I'm gonna go to the part I've not, I haven't fished yet. So, I think I've scared these guys out away over here. Got him! Oh yeah, look at him going out. He's going out. Oh, he got off. Son of a biscuit. Guys, I am freaking disappointed. I just missed another one. This is just not my freaking day. And he hit it almost as soon as he hit the water. See all that freaking action? Don't know what it is. And you know, when I said I, was, I had him, I actually think I was in the grass and just thought he was on there. And that was him or her going out and leaving me and I thought I had it on just think if I would have caught the ones that I miss I would have had an awesome day today when I tell you I love my little black mass rod got three of these babies from Walmart and they are awesome it's funny i don't miss so many every time i see one moving it looks like he's coming at mine and heck i think they should come in at right now the odds of them getting away about 80 90 percent you know i actually think that i'm gonna have to turn around because that tree down there Looks like it's in the way. And I don't have no time for climbing through the trees out here. All right, guys. I got to make my way back around here. So, might be redemption time, baby. What the hell? Oh, I just had one. The heck was that? I don't even know what happened just then. I honestly do not know. I think I probably foul hooked one when I hit the water. I need to make my way back down because I'm running out of battery power in my GoPro. All right, come on, fish. Show me some. Got him. 
Oh, let him, he let it go. He let it go. He let it go. Free. Seven freaking fish I done missed. Damn you, frog. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Free. I gave him time to, oh, he hit it again. Come on, come on, I know you want it. Did you see that, guys? Freak. You're gonna do it, you want it, you want it. You like the blue frog, don't you? You like the blue frog. You're just gonna have to start letting them eat it and just freaking go with it. I have really disappointed myself with this freaking frog today. And I don't even know if there's a redemption available for this today. And I just honestly am not having good luck out here today with them. Well, no, I'm not having good luck with setting them. I'm definitely having good luck with them biting because somebody's put their freaking word out that I don't know how to set the dang hook. Guys, tell me what's going on here. I am honestly at a loss for understanding right here with the exception of the dang hook just not being set correctly and not being out far enough or me just not knowing exactly what the hell I should be doing with these frogs right now. All right, duck guys. It's official guys. Today I sucked. I mean, I really freaking sucked today. I'm disappointed with myself and it's my fault because I didn't anticipate that the bass would actually be hitting the frogs today. And with working the frogs through the grass today, I freaking overreacted almost 90% of the time because I was thinking that I was going to get hung up in the grass and didn't want to miss the bass. I've had single strikes. I even had double strikes. I had fish completely on. I had it all today and the action for the frog was phenomenal. Uh, this is what I started off using. I said a lunker head, and it's not a lunker head, it's a lunker hunt. And I had have the brown one and I have the green one, and I started off using the brown one, and I don't care how many times I cast out, every time it hit the water, it would sink. And I find myself, or found myself actually having to set the hook I um, will pull it hard enough as if I was setting the hook just to get the frog to come back to the top of the water and I didn't like it. So on the brown one, this detached from here, fresh out of the box. So I don't know what's up with that. I got them from Dick Sporting Goods and I thought they were good at the time, but I can honestly tell you that I don't like the way that they fish. I like how they look, but I really don't like the way that they fish. But besides that, I'm just as worse off as the frogs were, the lunker hunts were, because I couldn't get a fish on board. And you see this? See, real girls know how to work a pole. Well, I know I'm not a real girl because I didn't know how to work my damn pole today, and it sucks. I missed a nice bass. Well, I missed quite a few nice bass today, and I had fun. I can definitely say I had fun. The rain gave me the opportunity to, 
to get out there and enjoy myself out there, but I was disappointed that I didn't land as many as I should have landed because of my error. And uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose out here, and today I clearly lost. And today's not over, but I'm actually so aggravated with not catching bass and my lower back hurting that I actually want to stop fishing just because I feel defeated. That's right, I feel freaking defeated by the bass today. Uh, I don't know guys, y'all let me know what's going on. You saw my hook sets, you saw me reeling in, you, you, you saw everything and what the hell was I doing wrong that was causing me to miss so many because I know I had to be doing something wrong and I'm not sure if I need to spread the hooks out a lot more on it or if it's just not even the hooks being as uh, as so close in as it is to me just panicking when I'm actually getting ready to set the hook. So let me know guys. Here is the frog. This is the first one that I was using and it's the Lunker Hunt Combat Frog. Targets big bass. And I don't know how in the heck it targets big bass if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do so I guess I don't target big bass either because today I couldn't do what I was supposed to do but guess what I have a fresh battery and I've decided that I'm not giving up I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna try this crap out again the rain is let down a little bit and I'll show you what we're looking at Here's one of the ponds. I haven't even fished that one yet. And on the other side over here, that's where. And I sucked. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit better this time, guys. So stay tuned and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so this is where I am again. I've stretched them out a little bit more and it is freaking horrendous <laughs> how they look but i'm gonna freaking try it in fact i'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more on this side and i'm not giving up guys this is too much rain out here for me being that I don't have my USB door on my GoPro and I don't want to risk it getting damaged so we are officially calling it a day <laughs> 